the dobby be asked and move your car bash and call the way and cassa TV so. But I send in the day, can I hear and cassa TV? I'm best subscribed by like and watch it. Or the former my reviews will be your donor, which is in the two months when you be a shaker, my camera. And cassa cassabonia do on mammy the barber so when I am the cassabay barber so when I'm so that I will never come to Safakan Danka. When I cassaboni see me now, so I'm the barber where the barber so many. No man to bring in take a saboni movie. Now, I mean, you say, I'm just saying, 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 i am MPP ni. Ebu si anfo na wade eye endi se fwa mwa asem aba. Yese ni buwe fu yye pa. Chese enye asem keto. Ebu si anfo ayen toko puto puto efo. Eye ora atubiga ene ora jon drama ni maha mani sami jamfi. Eni mbu takamu emuwa enye asem ketoa. Ebu si anfo mesa soba jebe. Nako ti ense ni nchilomu ya koba di mwa ni baba sumu. All those people, they lost their pre... I mean, they are minister. Rojo was supporting before. He was a deputy. No, Rojo was a deputy minister of... Of, of health before John Muhammad yes. came in. Like yes, and, team, yes, he, he removed out. him. He, he had removed the Zayden, all those. So at that time, and you know, in 2012, there was a lot of neglect. People felt that the government was running because his first casualty was choosing the wrong chief of staff, which was Prosper Bani. Okay? How was he wrong? He never voted, even the vote. He didn't work for the party. He had no clue of the party structure. He didn't know that it is a party that gives birth to a government. So when he got the opportunity to be the running mate, I mean, I'm sorry, the chief of staff, he forgot to take care. It's like giving birth to your mother. You don't take care of her. It is party that gives birth to a political party, I mean, a government. And if a government is in power, they have to take care of the party. And you need a chief of staff that knows that there are foot soldiers, there are activists, there are people that matter. And the, the, the chief of staff to have to crack the whip of the national security. Some people have to be taken care of, whether they are Kaya, they are, they are, uh, uh, they are watches sellers, they are taxi drivers, they are whatever you buy. It's all part of governance. You, for intelligence, you have, to, you have to empower some farmers, you have to so empower the chief some of staff. Was a he failed. It, I mean, it was but like, Julius Debra came in. Yes. The, by the time Julius Debra came in, it was too late. Imagine when I went to prison. You remember one of the buggings that I, 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 I one of the plea, pleading that told the judges that if I come out, I'll go around the country to sensitize people mm -hmm. or people like me or the, to, to accept the verdict, right? Yeah. When I came out and I, went and I wrote a letter, one week I wrote a letter to the chief of staff, then Bani, I said, oh, I need sponsorship to be able to go down and do that because we had sacrificed that you, have, uh, you, you, are, you are enjoying as a chief of staff. And our, our sweat, part of our little sweat puts you there. This man, if it was somebody who was a cadre, if it was somebody who was a comrade, if it was somebody who really understood the party structure, who at least fool me and even invite me into the office after I've written to you, oh, Steve, how are you? How was prison? How is everything? Okay, even if you are not willing to support, say, oh, maybe I'll talk to one or two people. He just wrote me a letter. Like, I, like I came looking for a job or like I came begging for money from heaven or, I, or like I came telling him that <laughs> can we share your wife or can we share your family properties? What did he say? He just sent me a letter saying, that, I'm sorry, there's no money. You cannot, I mean, I can't help, we, I can't support this. He didn't ask to see you. He no, didn't call you. Now. He gave the letter to one Mausi and he gave. But honestly, I became very upset and when, and when I thought of whatever I misbehaving or, you know, dealing with, I said, look, let me, if I do anything here, I've disrespected John Draman because he chose it. Let me just walk away quietly. And I walked away. So that's when I had come from prison. And you know what really, what really hurt me, when I was in prison, right, John didn't visit me. His family didn't visit my family. He, nobody came to visit me. The MPP people that came to visit Ken Crunchy, they were the same people that whatever they were doing for him or were the same courtesy on me. When I went to Akuse, the MPP people came to visit me. None of even NDC person even visited me or even... So when I... But it was... Rollins told us, it's what you can do for your party, not what party can do for you. That is how he has groomed some of us. That's, I mean, the comradeship, the cadre, mm -hmm. and whatever. And that is why we believe in what you can do for you. And that is what kept some of us going. Then, four months down the line, I met John's big brother, um, Braima, Braima Alfred, mm -hmm. at Africa. I said, bro, when can I go see your brother? I, at least we've paid our dues. Others are grabbing ministerial. Well, I also deserve something. But at the end of the day, you have a bowl to take home. You have to feed the family. And most of my business partners were MPP. You know this country, most of the business, you name it, it's MPP gurus. They pulled the plug on me. They said, look, either you leave your party, we can still be doing business with you. We are not saying come and join the MPP. Unless I want to, because people that give us the, the businesses. So I decided to stay with the party. 
So I met him. I said, oh, can I go see your brother? No, oh, I'll tell your, my brother that my younger dad met you, but I can't take you to, your, to my brother. Straight up. And I believe that if you're a leader, you see how Gabi Achredako and Ko does? If you're, if, you're, oh, if you're lucky to be a president, mm -hmm. it's not the sole prerogative of the president alone to take care of the country. Family, brothers, sisters, all of you should take a strategic role, not on government payroll, but to... Is that what Gabriel should have? Yeah, yeah, they, they are weakness. Yes, they make sure during crisis, they step in to make sure the right thing is done. Mm. This, and that is how brothers are supposed to do. You don't have to be on government poor role. The power that... The, the so you are unhappy that Alfred... I wasn't happy, but when I think about my relationship with John Dramani Mahama, I look and see, if you're a Christian, I have a Muslim background, a Christian background, the best way to live long to be happy is let God sit in your heart for you to forgive. That is the only way you can succeed. He never said then, he met me one day, oh, your brother said, my brother says he's going to make you, a, 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 how do you call it, a, a, a member, a board member of the prison service. I said, my brother, that oh, is not. A board member of the yes, prison yes, service. Yes, yes, I said, my brother, that is not what I need. I need projects to do. I was a contractor in the U.S. I was uh, building houses and selling. I had a handyman company. I had a, 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 at least every year, I'm one of the Ghanaians, you know, that were doing good over there. What am I doing with uh, board this? Then, six months down the line, one of his brothers, very respectful, very nice guy, very Michael. Mm -hmm. He met me at Afrikiko. He said, Steve, why haven't you come to see Big Brother? He's been looking for you. Where? I said, oh, it's that, that I haven't had the opportunity to go. And I expect that if I work, if you work on a farm, you don't need to take your bowl going to the kitchen. You're supposed to dish yours. Mm -hmm. So I sat aloof and I was waiting because some of us are not, excuse me, we are not bootlickers. We never, we're not kissing us. So, we're so not your concern is that President Muhammad didn't pay attention to Then you. we went to fast forward. He held me and he felt so sorry when he met me. Oh, you went to his house? Yeah, yeah, no, we went to the office. He okay. said, Steve, he shed tears with me. When he saw me, he held me down. Oh, my brother, you've really suffered and you are, you know, let's go, let's go see Big Brother. So we got to the flag star. Who is Big Brother? Who is, who is hugging you and shedding tears? Michael. Michael, uh, President yes, Muhammad. Yes, 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 yeah, no, uh, Michael. Michael, okay. he's called Michael okay. Muhammad. Right. He told, he, I think he's their last but one. Very okay. gentle guy. Okay. So we, we went, we got to the Flagstar house. We entered. Immediately we entered. Here, Stan, Stan Dogbe was standing in front of the president's door. He was inside. You know how you stand in the middle of the door, you have one hand mm -hmm. chucking in. You know, in a, we say in a Kimbo style. Mm -hmm. So when my, I, I think the president was busy, so I think people were coming in. So he had to take that if he can, he was busy. So when myself and Michael got there, Stand, stop, and said that the president was busy. So Michael took two steps back and said, I've come to see my brother. He said he's busy. Get out of the way. Let me go see my, my, my brother. So uh, 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 Stan moved to the side. So immediately we entered. He started telling his brother, how can your, your Stan be stopping me? How can he be? Then you know how nice John is. I mean, he, was, he calmed his brother down. He took a 